Hey everyone, this is uh, Fujikage Wolfis. Uh, another game uh, play of um, Naruto X Baruto. Now, I have noticed that many of my videos have been uh, are somewhat the same thing to a degree. Uh, not only do, do I play, I don't just show my videos uh, of what I'm playing. Because, you know, Naruto X Baruto, there's only so many things you can do. But it's also me explaining something, giving tutorial of some sort while I'm playing the game. So it's not just the game itself that I'm demonstrating. Uh, last one was uh, basically a, uh, a congratulations to one of my members, Dark, and um, for promotion that I gave him. And also explaining just a, a snippet of uh, the rules and regulations, some of the very basic rules of my guild. Um, which I'm going to get into a little bit more depth in this video while I'm playing a game. Now, for those of you who are new and watching me playing, uh, fighting this monster, this is a special event. So this, you can see when the, uh, 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 the event ends. So my guild mates are playing Sam, which is short for surprise attack mission as much as possible. There's beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. My guild is at the, uh, advanced level. And, of course, each one is much more difficult than the other. But, of course, the rewards are far more greater. And you can rank up really easy. So you want to take advantage of this as much as possible. Um, this also means of uh, how, how uh, active your guild is. Uh, attack mission is basically when this is to achieve rank, your personal rank. This is when you uh, go, go around. There's different leagues. You have the academy, first academy student league, guinning league. Uh, Junin League, um, excuse me, uh, Ginning League, uh, Chonin League, and then a Junin League. Uh, and there's like a couple more, more leagues up above. I don't know what's called, whether it be Sunin or uh, Junin Elite or Kage, whatever. I haven't been there yet. I'm, I'm a Ginning level myself, so I'll find out when I get there. Uh, but uh, Solo Battle is where you get your rank. And as you can see, you can see my rank tier for Ginning, uh, rank 57. 137 uh, points until tier beginning. So each rank has like uh, four tier levels. And once you do all of them, then you move on to the next rank. So uh, previously I was a first academy student. And I went through four tiers. And then once I did that, and I, then I achieved a beginning rank. So that's where I'm at. You press rankings. You have your league ranking, which is the beginning level. Then you go over to uh, guild rankings. And that's my rank. Rank 1288. Yama, which is the name of my guild. The leader of that, me, Fujikage. And that little symbol before my name is the symbol of my nation, my fictional nation land. Which is uh, the land of high peaks. And that's the symbol of, uh, of that. Over to the right, members 28. Total activity points, uh, 15,658. Now, the, again, this I'm about to get into the rules and regulations of my guild. But before I do, this is a smartass who was uh, temporarily in my guild who made a comment that I found offensive. This guy right here. Okay, so uh, this is the bottom of my chat box. And uh, you have Sasuke999 saying, Is anybody active? And then again, LOL, laughing out loud. Is anybody active? Oh, let's just check then there, buddy. And he left my guild before I could respond. He was only here for two days. Let's check. So, I don't know. You tell me. Is my guild active? Let's check my guild. Scarecrow99. That dick. He's such an asshole. Activity points. 17,376. So, the 15,000 that I showed you guys, uh, because it reviews every week. Every week. So, it didn't uh, give an update. This is the newest update. Activity points. 17,376. 17,000. Okay. 
rank 1288 the lower the rank the higher your guild because you want to get down to all the way to number one so I wanted to respond to him uh, and I was trying to look for him but uh, I found out that he uh, left my guild before I could respond so let's check my members and their activity uh, how long they've since they've been logged on and all the way to the right the golden ball with the black star that's your activity points that means how active you are you get that by attack missions by doing anything in missions anything and the more you play it the more points you get so let's go down right okay starting with me Fujikage Dark my newest prom uh, promotion E I promoted him uh, the other day I showed a video uh, a last video of him okay four hours okay Minato two days okay we'll count that three days is normally when I when I declare someone inactive but two days we'll, we'll count that we'll just low ball it, ball it. This is for you, Sasuke99. So, Monitor, that's one. 44 minutes, 11 hours ago, 21 hours ago, 2 hours ago, 17 minutes ago, 19 minutes ago, 7 hours ago, 8 hours ago. As you can see, most of them are basically daily active. Okay, Jekyll, that's one day. All right, fine, we'll count that one. Again, we're just lowballing it. So that's two people inactive of my guild. 18 minutes, 2 hours, 15 minutes, 34 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, 2 days. Okay, so that's three people. Fake taxi. Three people inactive. Let's continue. Ab. A day ago. That's four people. All right, four people. We'll count that. Again, I typically don't count it if you're more than three days off, but, uh, you know, we'll count that. So it's four people inactive. And that's it. There you go. Four people. Out of 28 members, there's four people that are inactive. So that means 24 members of uh, 28 is active. No more than two days off. No more than two days. Okay, so I don't know. You guys tell me, is my guild active or not? So let's check. I went to respond to Now remember, my activity points of my guild, and in other words, how active my guild is, the higher the points, the, the better. 17,376. So 17,000. My guild rank, the lower it is, the better, because you want to reach down all the way down to number one. My rank guild is 1,288. So I checked on him. Let's go all the way down. So as soon as he said uh, Sasuke9999, uh, uh, as soon as uh, he put LOL, he left my guild before I could respond. So let's click on him. Mr. Is anybody active? So I find out that he joined a new guild. And you can see in the bottom, S rank. That's the name of the new guild he joined. So uh, let's uh, check this guy out, huh? Oh, by the way, look at the guild, look at the guild rank. 9,715. Mine is 1,000. His is 9,000. Remember, the lower, the, the higher your rank because you want to reach, go all the way down to number one. So, number, okay, so my guild is much more higher than he is. So, let's check the uh, activity points. Oh, by the way, uh, only six people. Only six people in this guild called S rank. Rank 9,700, so basically uh, close to 10,000. That's not good. The higher the uh, number of the rank, the, the least uh, active your guild is. Mine's is 1,000. His is uh, over uh, 900. Activity points, 2,000, 110. Mine's is 1,000. And believe you me, to go to a, uh, to, for, for him to go to 2,000, all the way down to 1,000. That is extremely hard. I've been playing this game almost when it first came out. I had another account to which I lost. I forgot to uh, save it or link it. So this is my new account. But uh, to go from uh, 2,000 to 1,000 is extremely hard, folks. It's not easy at all. So there's, there's a huge, that's a huge jump. Let's just put it that way. To give you guys an idea who are new. And then he's got six members. Okay, so my guild rank is higher than his. Mine's is 1,000. His is 900. Uh, 9,000. Okay? He's not even close to me. 
and then his activity points is 2,000. Mine's is just just 1,000, and, and getting close to uh, being in the 900s. Let's check his members. Wi-Fi, that's the leader of the guild. And there's Sasuke999, who was in my guild, who made that comment, is anybody active, and LOL. Six people. Okay, so this guy's the idiot of the day, right? Sasuke999, he's a stupid idiot of the day. Everyone, I seek revenge. Yeah, you seek revenge on your stupidityness. You quit my guild, and then you, which is, I demonstrated that only four people, no more than two days uh, of, of four of them. Well, there was uh, no more than two days off. But I'll count that as inactive. So four players of my guild was inactive. So that, uh, out of 28. So that means the remaining 24 are active. My guild uh, activity points is 17,000. His is, uh, what, 9,000? 9, 9, Way below that. Excuse me, 2,000. <laughs> 2,000. His guild rank is 9,000. Mine is 1,000. His activity points is 2,000. My, my guild activity points is 17,000. Big, huge difference. Let's go look at it again. Where is this fool? There he is. Oh, look, look at the activity points on him. Right? Look at the activity points. Zero. Zero. So, uh, Sasuke999 is the stupid idiot of, uh, uh, of the month. The quitting my guild, which is... And quitting my guild and claiming it's not active, which I think I clearly demonstrated it is very active. And then quitting my guild and joining this uh, new guild called S-Rank, which is... In comparison to my guild, not even close. In other words, this is he joined an inactive guild. A very small inactive guild that is not even close to my rank. Uh, is this guy retarded? Because I think he is. That's that goes for you the that this is for you there, uh, Sasuke999. Making that stupid ass comment if my guild is active. My guild is extremely active, and then you joined an inactive guild with only six people in it. I'm going to put him down in my ninja bingo book, and then I'm going to assassinate him. <laughs> All right, let's move on, because I want to talk about the rules and regulations, but I just wanted to talk about that idiot. All right, so the rules and regulations. Uh, let me go back to my guild. Uh, my guild is Yama, uh, American server, North American server. I'm an American. Uh, this is my guild description on this box here. Ninja Village, Yamakoro no Sato, Mountain Hidden, which that's Japanese for Mountain Hidden Village. My fictional land nation is Land of High Peaks. Land symbol, uh, that's a Japanese symbol for mountain. Uh, my headband symbol is uh, those two little icons, and I'll show you how to how to put that, how to get that. But that basically represents the mountains. Current Fujikage, that's me, Wolfus. My uh, guild ranks. I couldn't fit the guild part in there, but my ranks is members. To, to achieve members, you have to be ginning, and you, uh, preferably you have to communicate. You have to at least communicate a few times in the guild chat, that you have to speak English enough to where you understand each other. Uh, but this is the basic requirement. You have to achieve ginning level to uh, go from being a, a new member to members to an official member. And to achieve the rank in my guild recruiter, you have to be tuning level uh, uh, rank. And you, uh, also you have to participate in SAM's uh, surprise attack mission. And uh, also team battles, which is in uh, attack missions. Uh, that, that's an, also an event that uh, uh, comes about every once in a while. So in other words, you have to wait until the event opens. But I do, I do take... Uh, uh, I do... Um, uh, pay attention to those things, but to achieve recruiter, you have to be tuning level rank. Now, to be executive assistant, excuse me, assistant executive, which Dark, one of my members in my last video, achieved and I promoted him. He's the first. To be assistant executive, tuning, uh, excuse me, to be assistant executive, you have to achieve tuning level rank. Okay, and then above that is uh, executive, which is Anbu slash Suning. 
of all those who achieve executive rank, mandatory, you have to be in one of my chat rooms, whether it be on Line app or on Discord. And I have my information on my profile, if not in my uh, guild description. And to uh, be a uh, second Kage, um, you know, I really don't have a... Just, you, clearly, you have to be the, uh, the strongest. You have to be communicating in my chat room. Um, you have to be in my chat room, which is mandatory. And just overall how you uh, communicate with others, you know, essentially. But clearly, you have to be uh, the strongest or at least one of the strongest, one of my top strongest. Um, now, go, going back to my exit, uh, my ex executive, excuse me, Anbu slash Sony. Out of everyone who achieves ex uh, executive, again, you have to be uh, uh, a higher level. You have your your rank has to be a, a higher than Junin, uh, which I believe is Junin Elite, and um, that comes right after Junin. And uh, you have to be active in my chat. Uh, my guild chat room here and you also have to be in my chat room either on lineup or discard now of everyone who's in my executive those who become sunning are my top three strongest so let's say if i have like uh let's say if i have um six people in my executive ranks uh, of the six the three of the strongest are declared my sunning and of course those who are my three strongest are the ones who i look at who's going to be the second kage once they achieve the next rank. So that's how typically how that goes. Now, how do you get kicked out? Well, you get kicked out by being... Typically, I, 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 you know, it's the, my technical rule is if you're more than three days not playing, I kick you out. That's what, I, that's what I was saying in the beginning, that three days is normally when I count as inactive. You know, one or day, two days, you know, that's two day, the second day is kind of cutting it close, but my technical, uh, uh, how I kick people out, is uh, the third day. But uh, just for Sasuke999, I just wanted to demonstrate who's active and who's not. I count four people, no more than two days uh, 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 since they last logged in. And, every, and the rest of the 24 members of the 28 uh, are active. Um, so, uh, but I, in that being said, th being three days uh, since you've logged on, I kick, pe kick people. Truth be told, I tend to be very lenient and I'm very laid back. I've had people who are nine days inactive, and so, uh, you know, I give people chances, and I try to um, uh, send them a message, hey, you need to be more active or I'm going to kick you out. Now, if you're busy with something, if you're, now, another reason why I let people go for, for more than three days is, like, if they tell me they're on vacation, they're sick, they have a medical issue or something like that, of course, I'm not going to kick you out, especially if you're active. But if it's, if you're going through something where you're a bit distracted, but you will, you will come back later. You know, I'll be lenient. That's another reason why I let people go for three days. But you have to warn me. You have to let me know so I know what's going on. So I don't uh, kick you out. Uh, but uh, maximum, if you're double digits, if you're 10 days since you've been logged on, yeah, maximum, I'll kick you out for sure. But uh, technically, it's three days. More than three days and you get kicked out. Now, if you're active, what, what else can get you kicked out of my guild? Which would be the uh, guild activity points. And what is that? You see the gold ball on the right side? The gold ball with the black star in the middle? That's your activity points. Michael has not been doing very well, even though he's active. But I'll kick someone out who's been a couple of days since they logged on. And they've been communicating. Uh, 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 they have not been communicating in my chat room. So you see, Michael has low activity points. Ten. He only has 10 activity points. Guild activity points, I should say. Um, but you see over here, Jekko has 298. Now the difference, uh, and, and one day logged off. Now who do I value more? I value Michael, and I'll tell you why. Because not only is he active, but he also communicates in the chat room. See, look at right there, Michael. Sorry, uh, beat too fast. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I think he meant to say beast too fast. Uh, that's probably a misspell. But anyways, you can see that he's active in my chat room. Going back to... Uh, going back to Jekko, I never see him or her in my chat room talking to anybody. So you see, uh, you have to be active and communicate. So I value that more than the two, uh, 298 guild points. 
You see what I'm saying? Just to let you guys know how I work. So if I had to kick anyone out, it would be Jacko over Michael. Because at least he communicates. And he is very active. I have to somehow encourage this guy. Now how do you get activity points? Guild activity points. You go by missions and you... I'll show you. I'll show you right here. Missions. Bottom right. Anyone. Story mission. Special mission. Attack mission. Surprise mission. It doesn't matter what it is. You can do it. Oh, I'm being invited. Let me, uh... Oh, it's too late. Somebody, somebody was inviting me to surprise attack, but right now I'm explaining. Uh, this YouTube is about explaining the rules and the regulations. So it doesn't matter what it is, but typically, to gain the most uh, guild activity points, you want it, you want this right here. You want to go to solo, ba solo battle. Now, some of my guilds don't uh, members who are new don't realize that once you achieve gaining level. Your ultimate jitsu will refill over time, just like your other jitsu. If you're below Ginning, which is a first academy uh, student, your ultimate jitsu you can only use once, and that's it. It doesn't refill. Okay, so the benefit, I encourage all my new members to achieve at least Ginning level uh, rank. Because once you do that, you get benefits. The, one of the benefits is uh, your ultimate jitsu uh, slowly refills. It's much more slower than your other jitsu, but eventually it does refill. Um, and that's permanent. You, you have that forever. That's permanent. You never lose it. Now let me show you. Let me uh, do it uh, solo real quick. But before, before I do, that's essentially the rules and regulations. Okay? Um, how do you get promoted? Let's do a recap real quick before I do that. How do you get promoted? Gaining level. You have to achieve gaining level. And you have to talk at least a few times in my uh, chat box, which you see in the middle. Uh, in the bottom right there. This is my chat. This is my guild chat room right here. You see how they're communicating with each other? You have to do that a few times and achieve getting level. To be a recruiter, you have to be tuning level. And uh, you ha I have to see you helping out in SAM or in um, uh, team battle, which I'll show you guys. Uh, what the SAM I've been doing for the last couple of videos. Uh, you can either join a random squad or form a guild squad. I prefer a guild squad because that also shows how active we are. Um, and I and I take mental note of who's doing that and who's not. So to achieve recruiter, you have to achieve tuning level rank, be very active in my chat box, and uh, participate in uh, guild-based missions. To achieve assistant executive, you have to achieve uh, tuning level. Um, you have to be very uh, helpful, uh, very very uh, um, uh, uh, in my uh, communicate in my chat box is what I meant to say. I got a little bit tongue tied there. And you also have to participate uh, in also uh, in SAM and any guild-based, squad-based missions. That's what I meant to say. Um, and that's basically about it. It's basically same, kind of the same requirements of tuning level, but is, instead you achieve tuning level. Now, to achieve executive, uh, you have to not only have all those things that I just mentioned, but specifically you have to join my uh, uh, chat room, either on Line app, L-I-N-E, or or on Discord, uh, D I S uh, C U uh, C O R D Discord. Uh, you have to join my chat room, and then uh, a assistant leader, which is second in command, to achieve second kage. That's what I call it. Um, basically, it's just uh, I have to have good. You have to be one of my strongest, and uh, you have just have to you know impress me. That's all. Um, so that's a recap of that. Members, how you get kicked out? No more than three days inactive. If you have to be in, if you have to, uh, if you're not playing for a reason, like you're going on vacation, a medical issue, but you will return later on, please let me know uh, in the chat box here. Preferably, uh, preferably, I would rather have you on my uh, uh, chat room and uh, communicate me there, or go on my YouTube. Go on my YouTube page. If you don't have my chat room, at least go on my YouTube page. If you can't download Discord or Line app. At the very least, uh, go on my YouTube and make a comment there on my Fujikage Wolfis uh, YouTube. The guild activity points is the gold uh, on the right, the gold ball with the black star. You get that by going to missions and doing any one of these multiple times. The more you do it, the more points you get. This is basically to tell me how active you are. You want to go ahead and do solo battle. You want to click on attack mission. 
and do solo battle and you want to achieve getting level at the very minimum right so if you're getting level you achieve members members are uh, rank in my uh, guild also there's a benefit your ultimate jitsu automatically ref refills so let me go ahead and do that real quick solo battle Now, for those of you who are new and uh, don't do solo battle, which I encourage you to do so you can get a rank and achieve Guinea level at the minimum so your ultimate jitsu refills, you want to find someone who you could fight. Okay, so you hit the next button if you don't like the person, if you believe the person is too powerful. So total power, I can handle that. So I press OK. I can do that, I think. You set up your, uh, you set up, this, these are my uh, ninjas that I was using last time. You set up your strongest. So, your strongest is in the very top. We're going to go this guy. This dude. And this guy. Now, I'm going to pick uh, Sakura because she's got healing ability and that's important in my squad. So we'll go with that guy. Or her. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. There's no music in the background because this is a more a tutorial explanation of my guild. Uh, besides uh, pointing out Sasuke999 who's an asshole. <laughs> but uh, anyways. Okay, now when you're doing when you're doing uh, uh, this uh, so, uh, attack mission and you're going solo, you want you see all uh, your uh, four jitsus. Okay, the three blue ones are your basically normal attacks. Each one is stronger than the other, and typically each jitsu has like a some jitsus has uh, an added effect that the other jitsus don't have. Now, the one on the very top, the one with the red circle, that's your ultimate jitsu. If you're below gaining level rank, you can only use it once. But if you're gaining level rank, like I am, it refills automatically slowly. But you can use it uh, repeatedly as long as it gets refilled. Okay, so that's the benefit of having a, a gaining level rank. So let's continue. Now, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, low level uh, bad guys, you want to not uh, use your jitsus as much. You want to save them for only when you're fighting a powerful opponent. Don't waste your jitsus. You see, like these guys, these guys right here, don't waste your jitsus. Okay, now right here you want to use a long range like that. You don't want to get up close because uh, you'll get your ass kicked. Now, see, this is why I have uh, Sakura because uh, she's got a healing ability. But you want to use a long range when it comes to one of the Nine Tail uh, Beast. But yeah, when you're fighting low-level ninjas, never use your jitsus. The way you build uh, chakra, which is the blue line, and your life is the green line, the way you build chakra is by attacking, by physical attacking. That little punch symbol that you see on the bottom right of your screen. You see, uh, now that was, a, um, that was a strong player. But um, when I started hitting him, I could tell that he was a weak player, so there's no need for me to use my jitsus. Okay, I gotta hurry up because I got 80 seconds left. I could afford to use a little bit of my jitsu, even though I didn't really need it, but I, I spent a little bit of time talking. I'm running out of time. I got 60 seconds left. All right. But you know, you know what it means? I see a lot of beginner players using their jitsus like right off the bat, and when they fight a strong opponent, Oh well, they're run run out of jitsu, and it it you know it takes too long to uh, recharge it. 
Um, so when it, whenever you attack an opponent, you can kind of tell uh, if they're strong enough. So in other words, use your jitsus wisely. Now let me show you how to do this real quick. Watch, watch how I do it. Watch how I do it. Watch me. Watch me. Watch. Okay, you see what I did? Did you all see what I did? This is a basic uh, tutorial uh, lesson on how to do um, uh, uh, attack missions. I ran around in circle and having their four of the uh, opponent's uh, ninjas follow me. And when they're all behind me, right, like all in a group, then I turn around and I use my ultimate jitsu. Now, what typical uh, other players tend to do, as soon as they cross the line and they enter the uh, final zone, the final map, where they f fight the four final uh, uh, ninjas of the enemy, typically they try to use their jitsus like right then and there. Uh, you'll get hit a lot, and a lot of the times you, uh, you can be successful, but sometimes you won't, especially if you get hit. Um, because the enemy, uh, the enemy players, uh, there's four of them, will uh, spread out sometimes, one uh, attacking your other members who are with you. And once they spread out, if you use your ultimate jitsu, if they're not in your direct line of fire, you'll get, like there was this one time where as soon as I crossed over, I immediately tried to use my ultimate jitsu, and I only got one. <laughs> and the other three, because they separated to attack my other members, they didn't get hit. So now I wasted my jitsu, and now I have th uh, three more of the enemy uh, uh, players that I have to deal with, who, who, uh, who are very powerful and uh, who have their own ultimate jitsu. And they typically use it, you know, randomly because the computer is, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's AI, computers uh, uh, controlling them. So that's very dangerous. So the method that I, I use is basically what you saw. I ran around in circles. Uh, I have them all chase me, make sure that they're all in my line of fire so I don't miss. And boom, I turn around and I hit them with the uh, ultimate jitsu. Now, sometimes two or three of them, not all four of them, will chase me. So one of them will be too busy attacking my other members. So, and sometimes they won't chase me at all. So if they don't chase me, I'll get some distance and I'll point my ninja, my main character, in the general direction of uh, uh, the enemy ninja who are attacking my squad. And I'll use a long-range attack to kind of help them out. But I keep an eye of my chakra. Oh, if I go below 300, I can't use my ultimate jitsu, and I have to wait until I, um, I would have to attack them physically to build chakra. So I make sure I don't go below 300, but I'll use my long range if, you know, no one's chasing me and they're just too busy attacking my members. I'll either use long range until I get to uh, uh, 300, or if, if they're, like, bunched up in a small corner, basically in a group, I'll walk up towards them and run up towards them, I should say, and use my ultimate jitsu like that. So just in case if no one chases you, you know, you're, um, in my ninja, uh, at my level, if I go below 300, uh, I can no longer use my uh, ultimate jitsu. Again, I have to physically attack the enemy to build chakra at the very minimum 300 chakra uh, points to use my ultimate jitsu. I run around in a circle, try to get their attention, and once they're all behind me chasing me and they're in my line of fire, I immediately turn around and, as you guys saw, use my ultimate jitsu. And that's how you get into rank. And you just keep going. Wherever I am, where am I? Boom, for rank 48. Let's see if I could go higher than that. Again, I, I've explained the uh, rules and regulations, uh, what guild activity points is, uh, what do I expect my members to do, and how to uh, achieve the next promotion in my guild. And now I'm explaining the importance of doing solo mission of attack mission. Attack mission. Solo mission. Okay, it's very important uh, to achieve getting level. But let's, I'm ranked 48. Let's see if I could go higher than that. And show you guys a little bit of tricks of the trade. Uh, I didn't really go too much into it, but I'm going to do it now. Uh, my setup of my ninjas and why I choose them. This one's a little bit too stronger for me. I want something below uh, uh, 350. Boom. That's, uh, that's, that, 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 that's okay. That's doable. All right. Let's go to my setup. So my uh, strongest is Killer B. He also has a long-range uh, ability just in case if 
going through the uh, enemy's map or castle, I come across a uh, tail beast, which you're going to have to use long range. My Sakura uh, is my healing type, and that's very useful, extremely useful. And then I have my, um, uh, my uh, Naruto and Itachi, which has also, some of their jitsu has a side effect, an added effect that normal jitsus don't have, which is why I chose them. I'll explain a little bit more in detail right after this what they have, but this is my setup. Sakura is just very important. I can't stress how important. Well, she's she's the healing type. You also have uh, Lady Sonate, but she's not as developed uh, as my uh, Sakura. I'll get more into uh, the details of my setup right after this. Oh, I hate those things. Those things are dangerous. Okay, this one's dangerous. This one... Oh, no, I was wrong. I, I thought... I, I, I misunderstood. I thought she was dangerous. When you see the health not going down, then you have to use your ultimate jitsu. But um, I must have not... Was not hitting her because uh, she her health bar was going down pretty quick. So in other words, I used my ultimate jitsu and it was not necessary. But uh, you see how it's refilling slowly? Okay, so I have to wait a little bit. Because I might actually need it the next time around. But let me wait a little bit. It takes about 30 seconds for the ultimate jitsu. Oop. Uh, this, is a, this is a seal. In other words, we can't use our jitsus when that's on. Okay, so it's almost filled. Again, it takes about 30 seconds to fill your ultimate jitsu. You get this added effect once you achieve Ginin level. But if you're a first academy student, you, you don't have that ability. So once you use your jitsu, again, it's one time and that's it. So let's do it. Okay, you see how his life was going down? Which is why I didn't use my uh, ultimate jitsu. Again, I want to stress to reserve your jitsus as much as possible. Boom, right? Oh, okay, this was a tail beast. And you can see when I attack, my blue bar or my chakra points increase. Right now it's three, uh, 1365. It's 1365 right now, the blue bar. I don't know where my guy is going. I have it on automatic. Okay, that was weird. I've, every occasionally I notice that happens, and sometimes I've I've even seen where one of my members will stop running and they'll get lost, and I have to like run back to get them. It's kind of weird how they do that. Right here, long range. You want to get rid of that guy as fast as possible. So the jitsu that I you just saw me use was a uh, uh, my ink clone attack. It's a long range based weapon, a uh, based attack. This right here, or just all melee attack. You don't want to use any of your jitsus. Don't waste your jitsus on these guys. You see my Sakura is healing us. Wait a little bit for my uh, nin uh, my ninja squad to uh, recharge as well. Typically, I'll let my um, squad attack the uh, uh, enemy ninja, the enemy ninja uh, character ninja, and I'll attack the smaller ones. Normally, when you're in a group like this and you're fighting the enemy, the uh, computer will then use the uh, ultimate jitsu to destroy all of you. But if you're kind of, if they're fighting them and I'm fighting someone else, they're less likely to use that. Oh, time is running out. 18 seconds. Let me show you real quick. Okay, see right here, I got attacked. And they're all in a bunch. You see that? You see how they... Boom, there you go. That's how you do it. But you see, sometimes you get attacked real quick if you try to use the ultimate jitsu. Instead of, or, you know, I wasn't trying to. I was trying to run in circles, but, you know, they, they caught me real quick. And that could be dangerous because then you have, like, some guy on you who's constantly attacking you. And then their other ninjas spread out. And once they're spread out, if I use my ultimate jitsu, I won't get all of them. And that puts me in a dangerous position. 
You want to make sure that the enemy ninja squad that you're fighting against is all in one, uh, one corner. So that when you hit them, you hit all of them. You, you understand what I'm talking about? So let's go to my setup real quick. Oh, look, I achieved a higher rank. Rank 41. Well, uh, I'm going to continue on with this, but let me go to my uh, rank, uh, my uh, setup real quick. Let's go to my setup. Uh, oh, I'm being invited. Who, who's inviting me? I don't want to be rude. Invite, invite me. Ah, yeah. oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, whenever you see an invite, if anyone joins my guilds, please always accept it uh, as much as possible. Let me, uh... Alright, let me show you my setup now. Show nobody list. Uh, for those of you who are new, you want to constantly enhance your ninja card right in the middle. Enhance ninja card. Okay, you tap that, and uh, I'll just pick someone at random, uh, just to just to give you an idea. You want to constantly do that. Who else? How about this one? Are you sure. That's how you level up, for those of you who are new. Now, to the right of Enhanced Ninja Cards, you have Evolved Ninja Card. That's also important. Once you have them all filled out, you see, you see I've pretty much evolved everybody. But once you have it all filled, uh, I'll see if I could show you an example of that. Uh, you see the stars? Once you have them all filled, you want to constantly check the Evolved Cards. And then if you have enough um, uh, chakra points, you can uh, evolve them. And if you have enough materials as well. Materials such as... Uh, let me... Uh, let me... Uh, wait a minute. See, materials. These are the materials that you need to evolve your cards. Very important. Again, you can get all this in uh, missions. You can get all that in missions. Uh, again... I'll do it. All right, let me uh, let me uh, help out my guys real quick. Now this is a special event of uh, Sam attack a surprise attack mission. Which is temporarily until it closes. This is just a special event that happens every once in a while. This is what uh, uh, many of my videos that you've seen before uh, this video that you see me do. That's Kirby. Yeah, is my guild active? I don't know. You guys tell me. You guys tell me if it's active or not. Jeez, Sasuke999. That looks pretty active to me. I create a squad with my guild and look how quickly it gets filled. You see the conversations, you see how, 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 who's been logged on and who's not. I'm, re I'm referencing uh, the first guy that I was talking about, the guy who, who was just on my, in my guild for like, what, two days, like a minute, and made that comment. Is my guild active? Yeah, it is active. <laughs> it is active, buddy. And then you joined an inactive guild. Yeah, real smart.
So I want to back away. And uh, re when I do this, I'm just recharging my uh, ultimate jitsu. And sorry if there's no music, but uh, this uh, uh, video is basically me just giving a tutorial of the rules and regulations of my guild, which I've already given. Uh, for those who uh, uh, listen to my, my rules and regulations of uh, what will get you kicked out, what will get you promoted, what, what do I expect from my members, I pretty much already gave that, so if you want, you could stop watching. Now I'm just kind of giving a, uh, a tutorial of uh, just basic gameplay. Um, definitions such as what is guild points, um, how to play, you know, simple strategies. That's basically what I'm doing now. But I've already given my rules and regulations, so if you guys want to hang tough and just watch me for fun, that's cool. Like, uh, I'm just giving a, a slight strategy. And I'm alrighty then. I just got, I thought I died for a moment. See, up to 300. And then, uh... Oh! <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I'm surprised I didn't. But, uh, I gotta recharge now. Oh, it's just up to me now. Oh, this is, uh... I'm making faces now. I'm waiting to recharge. Oh, we got 20 seconds left. This is not good. You can see I can. Oh, I didn't make it. Close, though. I didn't make it. But I still get benefits to a minimum degree. Oh, man. Oh, well. Almost. But hopefully you guys can observe how I move and the, the general just of how you play. Now, I'm going to explain to my members that uh, I'm kind of giving a tutorial right now. Now, the last thing I want to say, and I kind of I want to wrap this video up, is... Uh, Ninja tools. I'm kind of confused on that one. Let me show you real quick. Ah, come on. Fortress medals. You basically get that by doing uh, attack mission solo. You see that? Excuse me. I have 118 on the bottom right. You get that from attack missions. Solo. This right here. I'll show you. Attack mission. Boom, solo. That's how you get it. This is, I, th I believe this is the only mission that you can play to get uh, guild medals. Or, uh, what, what is it called? Yeah, uh, Fortress Metal Shop. Sorry. Fortress Metal Shop. Now, to the right is Guild Metal Shop. This is to get your tools. This I'm a little bit confused on. I believe it's Sam. Surprise Attack Mission. That's how you get uh, your ninja tools. Especially by playing with other guild members. And I believe that the more guild members are on your squad, the more higher your guild medals. Uh, I believe. I have 353, so... You hear the ninja tools? I'll just show you just one of them. You see, this uh, increases your... Gives you added bonuses. 
So I believe it's Sam's surprise attack mission and specifically being uh, creating a squad with other members in it. And the more members, if you have like a full squad, you get like a more uh, guild medal uh, points. I believe that's how it works. I'm not 100% certain myself. And you want to make sure that you uh, expand your bases. You want to expand. You want to, You don't want to forget to do that. And also to the right, set a guardian, a protector. I have another slot, so I gotta I gotta put someone else in there. But you gotta you just want to make sure you expand. The more you expand, uh, the more chakra points and and you know benefits that you get. So I believe that's it, man. That's uh, the rules and regulations. Uh, me giving the uh, fu to the uh, Sasuke999 for claiming my guild is not active, <laughs> and then joining uh, uh, an inactive guild with six members and not even close to my uh, rank. What, what, what an idiot! He's a stupid idiot. And that's about it. All right, I'm gonna. Anything else I'm missing? Um, again, how you achieve my uh, uh, rank in my guild to be members, you have to be beginning and uh, somewhat active in my chat room. Recruiter, you have to achieve tuning level rank and uh, not only be active in my chat room but participate in Sam, which I just did. Um, and you know, Kirby, Kirby and Scarecrow, uh, uh, was uh was playing with me so i'm gonna take a mental note of that that's very good and they're they're communicative let's uh check out scarecrow and uh kirby real quick this is kirby kirby if you're listening you need a uh, just a little bit more on the 56 uh guild points this is kirby This is Scarecrow. Scarecrow is doing pretty well. Let me ask Scarecrow real quick with his rank. All right. Um, anyways, what else am I missing? Uh, your guild points, your guild activity points is the full name. That's the golden ball with a black star in it. You do that by missions. Uh, if you're active, no more than three days, you get kicked out. I also observe if you communicate in my chat room, which I value more, because I got people who are very active and who have a high level, like I'll show you real quick, like right here. This, well, this person's active in my chat room by minimum. He talks every once in a while, which is all right. Let me show you. Let me. Okay, right here. Uh, Whale has a high level activity, but almost never talks in my chat room. Some of these people don't speak English, which is understandable, but I'm not, never going to give this person a rank. They can stay in my guild, but uh, I will sacrifice someone like this who's this active for someone who's active as well, but uh, also communicates. Like Fake Taxi. Uh, one more day and he's gone. Even though he's very active, not as active as Whale, 
or wheel, whatever how you say that. But 549, that's pretty good. Very active, but um, never talks. Never talks in my guild chat. Again, I'll sacrifice these two people for someone who's also active, maybe not as high as, uh, not highest with uh, activity points, but uh, communicates. Because communication, playing with people, and they almost never join squad. Almost never. So you know what I mean? They're just, uh, they're just there to occupy space, and I don't like that. I want someone who communicates and plays with others because it's just more fun that way. Uh, but um, just to let you guys, uh, just a refresh of how I operate. Um, but um, like, you know, Michael communicates, but he has 10 activity points. I value him more than uh, Whale or Fake Taxi. But especially Fake Taxi. In fact, I might kick him out. So that's the order into which I focus on. Um, that's basically about it. I would say the person who's getting close to getting kicked out. Before before I close, let me say who's who's on my list that I'm thinking about kicking out. Uh, Monito, 72 active points. That's not good. He, he's on my f number one priority list that I'm thinking about kicking out. So Monito, if you're watching this, brother, you got to do something. So who's next? Who's number two? And this is number two on my list. Yep. Fake taxi. Although, eh, I could go either or because uh, both fake taxi and uh, Jacko don't really talk either. But uh, Jacko has 200, 298. And Fake Taxi has 549. So the number two on my list is probably going to be Jackal. So Monito and Jackal are the two ones that I'm thinking about kicking out. But both of them don't communicate in my chat room. But you see, again, Michael has 10, which is, you know, I prefer to be higher. But at the very least, he communicates and he is active. He just doesn't do attack missions, which I'm, for whatever reason, why he doesn't do that. But I value him more than the other two, if you guys get how I operate. That's about it. Um... That's, let me close up shop here, and uh, please like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button, and also please, uh, you know, say hi, make a comment section on my guild, uh, comment, uh, my vi YouTube video section here, um, and I hope that uh, explains the rules and regulations. I'm going to put this video in its own separate playlist called uh, uh, Yama Guild Rules and Regulations, so that way people can find it, and, uh, you know, refer uh, whoever joins, I could revert them to that video. But this explains the rules and regulations. What do I expect from my members? Um, my basic setup. Um, ooh, let, let, me, let me do that real quick before I forget. Uh, my, my how to play, basically how to play, uh, what attack, uh, what uh, missions uh, uh, provide, uh, SAM, um, attack mission solo, how to view your ranking, what is guild activity points. Um, how to get uh, uh, fortress medals, uh, and also how to get uh, guild medals as well, which is I'm not 200% certain about that. So I pretty much covered the basics of how to play this game and what do I expect from my guild. Uh, real quick, I kind of briefly talked about my setup. Let, let me show you uh, what I mean by some of the added effects. You see, this one has an added effect, causing damage and inflicting darkness on the bottom there. Since ink clones speeding forward, causing damage and inflicting darkness. That's an added effect when you see the parentheses there. So let's compare that to this one. Also an added effect, confusion. Let's go this one, the third one. Okay, see this, this one doesn't have an added effect. This is just a regular attack, uh, a powerful attack, uh, a jitsu. And this is my ultimate jitsu. Uh, my tailed beast bomb. So, real quick. Causing damage and increasing in defense. Decreasing of defense of the enemy. That's an added effect. The second one. This is just a normal attack. The third one. Summons Sasano. Protects, protects the user from attacks. Okay, that's a defensive ability. 
which is rare. Some ninjas have defensive abilities. This is the, to uh, if someone's uh, about to use the um, uh, ultimate jitsu, you could put that on, and it completely deflects that. And guess what? You have an ultimate jitsu, and your opponent doesn't. So, or just any other normal attack. So that it does come in handy, but you just got to learn how to use it. It's a bit of a skill set that is uh, required. You have the ultimate bomb. Let's go to the first one. Just a regular uh, attack, no special effects. This one has a special effects, causes damage and inflicts, inflicting slowed movement. So I try to set up my uh, squad with those who have uh, uh, added effects. Here's another added effect. Uh, causing damage and decreasing attack. Uh, this is the one I, uh, I really don't, I, I used to use a lot but not anymore. Okay, so damaging, decreasing evasion, that's a small effect. That's just a normal attack list. And this is the one that I use a lot. Healing. This is my very important. Uh, this is, I would say, this is the backbone, the, or should I say the heart of my squad because of the healing ability. My uh, Killer B is my main attack ninja. And he's got also long range. It's the first one. Increases the attack power of all allies on the same floor. Let's go to the second jitsu. Uh, restores HP of all allies on the same floor by medium amount, 5 seconds. The third one. Summons Katsuyu, causing damage and decreasing defense. Effect medium. And of course, this is the ultimate jitsu. And there you go, that's my setup. This is the preferred uh, setup I have. You want to have someone who's the strongest, like this guy, and who's got a lot of uh, side effect, uh, uh, added effects on it. But especially the, the, the second Jitsu, this one right here, where it shoots out uh, ink clones. Uh, in other words, a long range attack that inflicts darkness. And then uh, coupled with uh, my, my Sakura, who has healing ability. And then the, the, the other two, which is these two, to round out my uh, squad. I mean, you could basically have anyone you want. Um, Another thing I like to do, if, uh, I forgot to do this in this one, but you can also, if you just want a particular uh, member of your squad to use just one jitsu, you could just uh, do this. I'll show you real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Whoops. There we go. You either tap it and hold, and you could either tap it or hold it. If you hold it down, it tells you the stats like this, but if you just tap it, it brings you to here. So we'll get rid of this. And we'll get rid of we'll get rid of this. Boom. So now the healing ability, oops. The healing ability is all that she's going to use. You see what I'm saying? So you can set up your character if you just want them to use the one thing. So the ultimate jitsu and the healing ability is the only thing I want her to do. Uh You can, you could do stuff like that, but this is basically my setup. Sakura or oh, it's another one. Uh, Lady Sonate has healing ability. Lady Sonate, that's another one that has healing ability. If you have her, that's uh, 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 stacked out. Whoever's your strongest, who else has healing ability? Um, I kind of forget. She has healing ability. That's another one. Another one with healing ability. And that's about uh, that's about it. Those are your healing ability uh, ninjas that you want to have that you want to start building as fast as possible and have them as one of your squad members, including with uh, anyone who's your strongest who has a long range. And, partic and per particularly a long-range attack that has a, 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 an added ability. And then the rest of the two is can be any one of your choice. And, you know, there's different combinations. But this is my combination. Um, you can, you're feel free to uh, uh, duplicate my setup if you want. But this is just a very basic setup. 
I do have other setups for other ninjas for different things that I'm developing, but I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> this is just a basic setup that I'm giving you guys for free that I've been very successful. I, I've done more better, especially with uh, Sakura, the healing type. I've, uh, my, uh, my success rate in any form of missions, is, especially with a squad with Sakura, has been increased dramatically with her on the squad because of her healing ability. So there you go. I think that's about it. I think I covered everything. And my rules and regulations, uh, my FU to Sasuke 9999, that one player who was just in my guild for like two days talking about my is my guild active and like an idiot. Not only is my guild active, but even worse, he joins a, a lesser a guild than mine. But. And uh, what I expect from my members, how to get promoted, uh, simple uh, explaining definitions of certain things in the guild. Um, how to uh, operate uh, attack uh, um, uh, uh, missions, uh, whether it be Sam attack missions, uh, special missions, or or story mode. Uh, those are pretty. All those other like story mode and uh, is pretty self-explanatory. I didn't have to really go through that one. But um, how to get rank, which is again attack mission, and you want you want to do that because not only do you get uh, activity guild points, the golden ball with the black star. But you also get fortress metal points to which you can use to buy upgrades. On top of which, to upgrade your rank. Minimum, you want to get gaining level so you can get the added bonus, which is permanent, that your ultimate jitsu slowly uh, recovers. And there you go. And now you have my setup. This is what I do. You guys know how to attack uh, when you attack another player in the fortress. When you get to the very last floor, uh, the one with the gray tiles... You run around in circles and make sure that they are in your line of fire. Um, and that's it. I think that's the basic summary. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Like I said before, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, uh, leave a comment. And, uh, and if anyone wants to reach me to join my guild, just leave a comment. And uh, I have my notifications turned on. So whenever someone does leave a comment in the comment section of my YouTube here, I'll be notified and I'll send you a message. And uh, we'll get you set up. If you believe you can be active and... Yeah, this is, uh, you want to join my guild, just uh, hit me up. I also provide my uh, contact information of both. I have two chat rooms and two different apps. I have a chat room in Line app and I have a chat room in Discord. I'm predominantly, I spend most of my time in Line app, but um, I have my contact information there for those who uh, want to uh, uh, join me in my chat room on either or uh, maps, whether it be online or Discord. Uh, and I also have a primary uh, gaming chat uh, channel on YouTube called Wolfis games uh go ahead and check that out uh because i also run i play about about five or six other games uh naruto x is just one of them uh, i'll provide the uh, link on the comment section below of this youtube um that's about it there you go all right take it easy